further repair. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 15. That's, ooh, yeah. 1515, 15. how about that? <laughs> so, I like even numbers like that. Anyway, I digress. Uh, if you're my subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Honored, privileged. Uh, if you like these little videos, go and subscribe, ring the bell. So, Book of Acts, chapter 15, 15. We're in the middle of uh, the first big church conference uh, put on by James the Lesser. James the Less. Uh, James the Great, or Greater, or Bigger, or <laughs> however he went by. He, uh, he, uh, he, he was the, the original leader of the church in Jerusalem until he was thrown off the temple roof and then beaten to death when he was not dead yet. It was under Herod's rule. Uh, so now James uh, the Less, or the Shorter, or so... <laughs> Not, not that he was lesser, but a lesser guy. He was, you know, a good guy too. But now he's uh, head of the church. So Peter stood up, said his piece. Um, saying how he stood up, saying how he was the first one to bring the Gentiles in. And then uh, Paul and Barnabas told him about the good deeds God was doing for them throughout the uh, region especially in Gentile dominant areas where their entire congregations were being set up, which forced this council, forced the hands of the apostles. Because for the last 10 years, after Cornelius and his family became Christians, uh, the apostles were kind of kicking the ball around. What do you do with these Gentiles? Do you make them, do you make them in the Jews? Do you circumcise them? Do they have to keep the festivals? They're like kicking this around, not uh, not making a decision. Finally, they had to make a decision. All these, Paul is just bringing them in by the congregation loads. I mean, boat loads, truck loads, I mean, <laughs> Gentiles. So now their hand was forced. They got around and they, they really, really discussed it very heavily. Um, you can read that in verse 2 of 15. Paul and Barnabas had no small dis dissension, disputation with them. So they really, really had an argument about it. Probably threw some tables around, threw some chairs around. Hey, how about that? Um, you know, Jesus did. Why not? So, I mean, he did at the temple. So <laughs> he turned over some tables. So why not the apostles too? So this forced their hand and... Uh, so they came to a conclusion that the Gentiles should come in as Gentiles and not be Jews. Basically. So after everybody had their say, James stood up and said, Men and brethren, listen to me. Uh, then uh, verse 15, let me read verse 15. And it says, And to this, to this agree the words of the prophets, as it is written. So Simon had, uh, Simeon, or Simon Peter, had declared how God had first had to visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name, reference to uh, Cornelius. And of course, reference to verse 7, where Peter rose up and, and told everybody about it. And so here, James uh, goes back to Scripture it says, as is written in the Old Testament scripture, which is very, very, which it should have done, are very appropriate. Um, there was a very material point with them as Jews to inquire whether this was in accordance with the predictions of the scriptures, the Old Testament. The most... Uh, the most powerful revivals of religion and the most striking demonstrations of the divine presence uh, will be in accordance with the Bible, always, and should be tested by them. This habit was always manifested by the apostles and early Christians and should be followed by Christians at all times. Unless a supposed work of grace, uh, accords with the Bible, 
if it doesn't accord with the Bible, then uh, it should be opposed. But uh, if, it, if it lines up with the Bible, um, it should be obeyed. So the apostles uh, found uh, Amos. I got it written here in my Bible. Let's see. I don't think you can see it, but it's Amos chapter. What is it? Chapter 9, verses 11 and 12. There you go. <laughs> so I saw it. <laughs> Pull the page back a little bit. Yeah, Amos, it's a reference. James was referring to Amos, the prophet Amos. Chapter 9, verses 11 and 12. Chapter 9, verses 11 and 12. You can look that up. Um, so that's what the apostle James referred to in saying this is all right. And they should be doing this. And so you always, you know, the, the New Testament's for our living and the Old Testament's for our learning. Um, so if you're going to learn from the Old Testament, you got to read it and obey it. So a lot of people say uh, we don't follow the Torah, we don't follow the Old Testament. And that's true, but it's there for our learning. It's, most Christian doctrines in the New Testament actually have their start in the Torah. So, uh, New Testament is for our following, but the Old Testament is for our learning, and we should learn from it. And uh, uh, we see in chapter, in, in verse 15 here, that the Apostle James uh, definitely was learning. Uh, even though he's following the new way, he was learning from the Old Testament. So thank you very much. God bless you. See you next video.